So I got this mirror recently on Facebook Marketplace and before I got this, the wall was pretty empty. So I'm really happy about this purchase. It's a really nice arch shape with gold rim. So I did this painting in 2017 and this has traveled with me um, as I moved to different places. We have key holders here and our shoe rack and this aloe vera plant is from a friend of mine who had to move out of his place and he had been watering it with alcohol and I was like, no, let me take care of this. So he was nice enough to let me adopt this plant. So here we have our most recent project. This is our Polaroid project. Um, I got a Polaroid camera in May and I've been um, carrying it with me to special events and when we go on trips. So if you want to close up, um, we have pictures from our Victoria trip, from our Lake Louise, Alberta trip, the med ball this year, my boyfriend's birthday. Um, we went on a few hikes here in BC and my cat, of course. So this is um, a really nice way to display the nice picture that we took over the past couple of months. Okay, so coming to our bathroom, there's really not much to see here. So if I were to just show you this one cabinet, um, I just like how this is organized where we have toilet papers up at the top. We have towels here and some of my makeup down here. So coming to our living room and the kitchen, I'll just show you guys how we organize the uh, kitchen area. Starting with this electric kettle. So it's the gooseneck kettle that I bought for making pour overs. And it has different settings like um, boiling water for green tea, coffee, um, boiled black. So there are different settings here and I just love the shape of it and how sleek it looks. Um, another one of my favorite items is this spice rack. Um, I got this when I just moved to Vancouver. So we have salt and various herbs, cinnamon, paprika, onion, garlic powder. And of course the eye-catching item over here that's bright teal color. This is my air fryer. You guys might have seen this in some of my older videos as well from my um, place before I moved here. But my mom got me this for Christmas two years ago and we use it a lot. And I'll show you this coffee grinder as well. Okay, we also got this blender machine and I'm really happy about this purchase as well because previously I used to use Magic Bullet and they're just so small and the blending power is not that great. So if you're blending like um, frozen fruit, sometimes it doesn't really like work very well. But with this, it's so heavy duty and it has multiple blades. So we use this to make smoothies every morning. Okay, we have our drying rack here. It's pretty messy right now because we did the dishes this morning and they're drying right now. But um, the reason I want to show you is because I used to use a separate drying rack where you would normally put it like here or here, but it would take up space from the counter. So I wanted to have something where you can put it over the faucet so you can kind of minimize the space and it's more vertical than horizontal. So um, you can really put a lot of stuff in this area and have this area free for cooking. We have our knife set here and I have some of my plants. This is my plant, Chad. Um, I had this for like three years and it's an air plant. It's really good if you're um, just a beginner to taking care of plants because you just have to kind of put it in water every other week. It's very easy to take care of. And this, you might be wondering, it's um, ground coffee beans that um, is like leftover from making coffee. So I dry it and use it for different things like using it as fertilizer. Like this is an example. And we have a diffuser here that's going on right now. So 
My boyfriend got me this when he came over to my place for the first time before we started dating. So it used to be like mine, but now it's like a shared item. I'm coming over here. Let's move this out of the way. Um, this is my shelf and it holds some of my most adored items. So we have my poplis plant at the top and another plant here and we have like orange theme going on. This um, is a tangerine plushie that my boyfriend got me and then my old roommate Sunny made me this and I got this pot so we have nice like orange theme here and below I have my Polaroid camera, um, a candle that I got last week for some fall scents, my perfume and a projector so it's more like white and lavender color themed here. And down here it's a little messy but we have like more like black items like the camera, the speaker, um, like cologne. And here I have my books that I brought from Halifax. So I couldn't bring all of them unfortunately just because of limited space but I, uh, I was able to bring some of my favorite books. And here more books from when I was for studying medicine and this is like 150 color color pencil that I usually keep down here just to hide it. In this table, I'm so happy about this. I really wanted a table that doesn't take too much space because my our apartment is a little bit small. So this is really nice because right now we have um, two chairs out because it's usually the two of us eating and working here but if we're having more people over we can actually extend this table and have six chairs so really good for big like dinners or lunches and also it's nice because this folds down so if I ever want to maximize the living room space it would look a lot bigger but right now it doesn't really have much function in this form, so we keep it out. Uh, okay, so this side we have our couch. So there's a funny story behind this couch. We found this on Facebook Marketplace, and the person who was selling it was just living like two blocks away. So my boyfriend and I went to get it, and he essentially like carried it over his shoulder. I'll insert a video here. <laughs> we have our cushions just to add a nice um, pop of color. These paintings I did, I finished recently. So this was my first one. And I did these two in the past week because I just had more time. And let me see if I have the... I made a little sketch with my color pencil to plan it out. Just to make sure that the colors all work together, I drew it out like this. So you can kind of see how, how they resemble. This little side table I would normally have a coffee table, but because of the living room space and since it directly connects to my office, I didn't want to have anything to get in the way. So with this, you can still put like your coffee or things um, and then you can just like slide it in if you when you're not using it so that you have maximal living room space. I have this utility cart as well with some plants. So if you come over here to my office, this is my favorite area, but unfortunately, I don't really spend too much time here. I do most of my work at the dining room table. When I have to have a meeting or if I have to focus, um, I come here, I close this door and go into my focus mode. Yeah, it's nice because we get lots of sunlight, so they're, it's really good for my plants. And this place is always nice and bright. I have this um, wall hanging propagation station where I have little leaves from my pothos. So they're actually growing really well and look at these fruits. They're crazy. 
And this is a cutting from uh, my Chinese money plant, but unfortunately it didn't grow any roots. It's not because it's not submerged in the water. The water evaporated. <laughs> Um, okay, and I have my monstera plants which are very happy and healthy. So we have new leaves that are just about to unfurl. Um, I have a humidifier which I never use because in the summertime we, we don't have like dryness issues. But I think in the winter I'll be having this on just to keep my plants healthy. I have my alocasia plant which unfortunately didn't do so well so I have to chop off two big leaves but there's a new one coming out and unfurling so I'm really happy about that but this one is a little weird looking it's a um, deformed leaf that's like butterfly shape normally it would be a heart shape and I have my fiddle leaf fig bird of paradise which is one of my favorites it was my dream plant um, and I was able to get it a few months ago and we have a new leaf coming out as well so happy mom moment i have another pothos just hanging here it's getting really long like down to the floor so yeah really luscious looking i have my piano so i got this piano uh when i first moved to vancouver and even before i got like my bed frame or my desk i got this piano so it was my priority. I have this long board that I never use. <laughs> I, I was gonna sell it this summer, but I think it's serving as a nice decor piece. Um, my yoga mat, and I have a random bowl of snacks. <laughs> Here, this is my desk. I really like it because it's like nice, clean, like white and wooden drawers. Not much to show inside, but oh, but I guess like the middle door is kind of interesting because this is like my arts and crafts door with some washi tapes, um, highlighters, and like pens, fountain pen ink. So this drawer makes me happy. I guess finally we have our bedroom which is unfinished, it's very empty. Um, I'm hoping to hang a nice wall hanging the core piece above our bed. Um, I was thinking of getting like macrame art piece, but I'm still looking for one right now. And um, yeah, we have a full length mirror where I can check my outfit. <laughs> and we have two closets built in. I'll just show you like the upper half of my closet because the bottom half is pretty messy. So on the upper shelf, we keep our bags and purses. And in this box, we have smaller purses um, and like hats and little accessories. Here, I tried to color coordinate to a point, but it's kind of getting mixed up. That's it for my closet. It's not very interesting. So that was it for my apartment tour. I hope you guys liked it. Um, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. No, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>